as Army embarks on the sixth bowl game in program history, we take a look back at the Black Knights' five prior postseason appearances, which haven't been short on excitement. In 1984, Army accepted its first ever bowl bid, a date with Michigan State in the inaugural Cherry Bowl. Before more than 70,000 fans at the Pontiac Silverdome, the Black Knights took a first half lead on a Clarence Jones touchdown run. Quarterback Nate Sassman ran for 136 yards as the Black Knights upset the Spartans by a 10-6 score. Army returned to postseason the following year, again against the Big Ten team, facing off against Illinois in the Peach Bowl in Atlanta. On a cold and rainy New Year's Eve, Army forced four turnovers, including two interceptions by Peel Chronister. The Black Knights used a pair of halfback option passes for touchdowns, one from William Lampley to Benny White, and another from Clarence Jones to Scott Spellman. Quarterback Rob Healy and fullback Doug Black each added touchdowns, but the game came down to the final minute, with Chronister breaking up a potential game-tying two-point conversion pass from the Illini's Jack Trudeau to give the Black Knights a 31-29 victory. In 1988, Army would head to the John Hancock Sun Bowl in El Paso, Texas to meet Alabama. In a back-and-forth affair, Army raced out to a 14-3 lead on scoring runs by Mike Mayweather and Brian McWilliams. After 17 straight Alabama points, Mayweather put the Black Knights back in front before O'Neal Miller returned an interception 57 yards for a touchdown. Alabama's All-American Derek Thomas blocked two Army field goal attempts. The Crimson Tide scored nine fourth-quarter points to edge the Black Knights 29-28. It would be eight years until Army next appeared in postseason. In 1996, fresh off a regular season which saw the Black Knights ranked, while setting a program record for wins, Army faced Auburn in the Poulin Weed Eater Independence Bowl in Shreveport, Louisiana. Trailing 32-7 entering the fourth quarter, Army mounted a furious comeback. Rushing touchdowns by Demetrius Perry and Bobby Williams were followed up by a scoring pass from Ronnie McGeta to Rod Richardson. An ensuing two-point conversion brought the Black Knights to within three. Army then recovered the onside kick and drove to the Auburn 10-yard line with less than a minute left. A potential game-tying field goal sailed wide right, and the Black Knights rally fell three points short, 32-29. 14 years later, in 2010, Army would head to Dallas and hook up with SMU in the Bell Helicopter Armed Forces Bowl. The Black Knights would race out to a 16-0 first-half lead, thanks to a fumble return for a touchdown by Josh McNary on the third play of the game, as well as a Malcolm Brown scoring run. This time, though, it was the Black Knights withstanding a rally, as SMU scored twice in the second half. But a potential go-ahead field goal attempt by the Mustangs, with just over four minutes left, sailed wide left, and Army was able to run out the clock en route to a 16-14 win. Army's five bowl games have been decided by a total of 12 points, and as the Black Knights get set to face North Texas in the Zaxby's Heart of Dallas Bowl, another exciting chapter in Army football history is about to be written.